everything is marketing. Everything right. you do is marketing. You have to look at it. how you answer the phone is marketing. Um, or don't answer the phone, right? If it's always going to voicemail or whatever, right. that's marketing as well. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 417th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, mm -hmm. along with my lovely co-host, the lovely Laura. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that, baby. I, know. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't said that in a long time. I didn't. I think you know? I told you the other day I was went to this deli, local deli, um, ordered a sandwich, and they asked for your name, whatever, and then they called out, you know, they'll call out your name to pick it up. Yeah. And the woman literally said, the lovely Laura. Like to you name my sandwich. Talk? I don't know. No, it was so. <laughs> and I said, well, "What did you just call me?" Yeah. And she said, "The lovely Laura." And I said, "That's so funny. That's what my husband oh. calls me." So anyway, that was really weird. Anyway, so well, I know. <laughs> well, I know how we came up. The million. Dollar I do not plumber. refer to myself as the lovely right. Laura. Let's just. Well, I'm known as you know the million dollar plumber. Mm -hmm. But really, remember the guy who said it was in a post or whatever sometime and said, well, that's the effing million dollar yeah, plumber. Effing million. So I, I but left, he didn't I say effing. Yeah. <laughs> I left the effing off, but I kept the million dollar plumber. <laughs> that works. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> so, hey, it's good to have you here. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah, this good episode of Potty Talk. Hey, yeah. hey, by the time we get done here, we're going to mm -hmm. share five ways to market your plumbing business. Mm. You know, I made a command decision here because I know we okay. just did, we just did a, uh, an episode here where, you know, we, we shared some things that, you know, they, they just don't teach you about plumbing or, you know, your, your business, your, your business or whatever. Mm -hmm. And one of the things was, was marketing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so we couldn't, and we didn't go on depth, right. Mm -hmm. How it's important as a concept there. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, Hey, so I made a little decision here. All right. Let's talk more about marketing. Drill down. Okay. Let's do it. All right. It's so, important. I'll, so I'll throw you under the bus. I know you like this part of the part of the game. Sure. Okay. Well, cause it's, it's, it's vital. It, you, yeah. you, you have to do these things. So right. anyway, I know I learned it and I, I'm, I'm going to brag on You are the lovely Laura. I hope you don't mind if I, you know, it, the good book says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Well, I've definitely found a good thing. Okay. okay? Um, because in, in our business, our life, our business life, it's, you know, I'm, I'm the million dollar plumber, but the money's over here sitting right money? next to me. Well, <laughs> it actually gets the money. It makes things happen. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, and the same, we see this all the time with what we call, you know, plumbing power couples, mm -hmm. PPCs. Mm -hmm. All right. As soon as the wife gets involved, okay, that, that things really start taking off mm -hmm. for, the, for the guy's, guy's business. Because right. part of this thing is understanding these concepts of like marketing right. and working with those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. While at the same time, you know, I'm trying to plumb and still in the field and doing stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it's just, it's very advantageous. Yes. To have, to have both and not just not just because you know all of a sudden if the wife comes along side and, and joins the business it's not his business it's not it is both of your businesses you are co-owners um, but if the wife does come alongside um, you know that it, it it's not that she's all of a sudden the, the reason right it's that the the responsibilities are divided and then each can um, focus on whatever their skills are right you you you've got everybody's got different um, gift mix gift mixes and all that. So now you can divide and conquer. Um, so now the, the, the wife can take on some of these um, office things, th things like marketing, all right. those types of things. The husband can work on, you know, if he's still in the truck, getting, getting the plumbing done, but then also recruiting, getting guys on board and then setting the, the vision for the company as well. So there we go. Okay. Okay. Well, let's talk some marketing here. All right. All right. Good. All right. Five ways to market your plumbing business. All right. Mm -hmm. First of all, we understand number one, mm -hmm. Marketing drives business. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going back to the other episode here. Previous episode, we talked about the concept, you know, you're, you're a marketing business. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's what you are. Yes. Marketing drives business. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is your business. Yes. That, that's, what, that's what you're in. It's not that I'm a great plumber, okay? Um, they know me as in the, my reputation gets around. That doesn't Ew. drive, that doesn't drive business. <laughs> not drive. Guys, okay. it, now there is such a thing as yeah. word of mouth. And there that, is that, such a thing, right. but that's not going to drive the business. It's not going to scale your business. No, not at all. No, definitely not. Think about too, um, think about some of the big brands, just not necessarily home service business, but just brands in general, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Why do they advertise? Why does Coca-Cola and, and McDonald's for that matter, why do they advertise? Um, and they, they advertise a lot. You, you see Coke billboards or you see, you know, McDonald's and, and TV commercials or whatever it might be. Why do you think they do it? When everyone on the planet, for the most part, knows McDonald's and Coke, Pepsi, again, just, you know, fill in the, Apple, you know, another right. one. Um, why do they advertise? Because they, they know they have to stay top of mind. 
to their consumer. They, they have to. They have to create this thing about almost a culture of the business, um, but it's it's to stay top of mind. You see, you know, McDonald's commercials over and over, and all of a sudden, man, those those golden fries. My mouth's right. starting to water. <laughs> I'm I'm needing me some golden and, McFries. And these these are products or services people want. Correct. Where I know we're into what we do. As, yeah, as our home service business. Right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in, in my case, is, you know, plumbing, mm-hmm. no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Nope. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call an HVAC guy. <laughs> because okay? if you call, uh, if you have to call an HVAC guy, then either your heat's out and uh, it's never at a good time, dead, you know, dead of winter, right. or your AC's out and you live in Florida and it's July, right? It <laughs> never fails. No one wakes up and wants to call an HVAC guy or an electrician. If you've got to call an electrician now. Typically, you've got something going on um, in the house. So it is the same with, with most trade businesses. Right. So it's, it's not that they, you know, they, when they, they're not, they're not looking for you or remembering you and it doesn't build, you know, so they don't think they're not thinking good of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but when they go to where they do look, look you up like Google, Mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing, they need to recognize you. Customers purchase from those they know, like, and trust Mm -hmm. knows the first part. Yep. So that's where the marketing comes in play. Okay. Mm -hmm. They got to know they've seen you around. They've seen Mm -hmm. something else about you. Marketing, yeah. okay? Yes. Okay. Move on to the next thing. Number okay. two, mm-hmm. everything is marketing. <laughs> everything mm. is marketing. Like what? Marketing? Everything matters. Okay. Okay. On your trucks? Right. Your trucks, how, how your truck looks, mm-hmm. whether it's new or a piece of crap. How your, how your technicians... How your technicians are dressed, right? How right. you're, again, if it's just you in the truck for right now, how are you dressed? Because you're, if you go out in the public um, and you've got your truck, it's got your plumbing company's name on it. How, how do you look when you're at the gas station, right? When you're, when you're at, you know, the grocery store, you know, if you have to, whatever it is, you know, you're at a restaurant. How do you look representing your company? That's marketing as well. If you look like you just rolled out of bed or you just got out of a ditch and you're all muddy and, or you got some crappy, you know, uniform but on. But I'm, I'm the best. My work <laughs> is the best. They love my work. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they they want someone that's going to come to their house. So again, that they know, like, and trust. But trust that you're going to be around. They, you know, pass the the work that you do. Um, if you go out there and or they see you out and about, and they see some ratty old truck and ratty old guys, whatever. Like, man, this looks a little fly by night. Or looks a little shady. And I know plumbers are like, well, we're plumbers. We're going to look dirty. That's what um the that's what the community accepts or understands. No, guys, no, we don't. Miss, Mrs. Jones, a customer, that is not what she wants. She wants someone to pull up in a nice van so she's not embarrassed, you know, with her neighbors, right? Having some guy, you know, pulling up in a in a van and it's smoking out the back or it was just a piece of crap or whatever. Right. That that's, that's she doesn't want that. So, yeah. Right. Um, I mean, we can you can we can try, you know, you can push it all you want. You know, I know it's hard for the guys that, you know, have grown up during a time where everybody gets a trophy. Okay, <laughs> so I know in our society right now we, we think that we're, you're gonna the, the society is gonna for the, and politically they're trying to force us to agree or commit to certain things. Okay, but when it comes to this area, you can't. The customers aren't. You can't force customers. They still think you're a dirt bag. If you look like a dirt bag, they think you are dirt bag, and you're gonna do dirt bag work. And you're gonna. They charge, can't force right. you right right now mm-hmm. in America. They can't force you to call dirt bags. Okay. But I mean, I could come down the pike, I guess, but the customer is still thinking about that way. Okay. People judge a book by its cover. Okay. So how you behave at the gas station. I don't know if you, if you said that, I mean, that's mm-hmm. the kind of a thing. And you know, if you're, um, how you drive on the road is so important. Oh, you got this big, you know, so especially good. if you have your name yep. on your truck, you know, you've done good branding. That's, uh, that's why it all matters. So, okay. So, so you get it, you've done great branding and all that. You, you gotta be, you gotta be careful on the road of not driving like you normally drive and take it from, like I said, you know, this is my 40th year in the <laughs> trades and being around. So I've made every mistake. That would be one Plus of them. having my company name all over my car that I whizzed all over the road, <laughs> cutting people off, racing through stuff. Because that's that, how you that had a big, drive. They had a billboard on it that said exactly who I was, <laughs> you know? Uh. So they got the calls, you know, every other day. Uh, <laughs> well, here's a car with running through that's racing down the road, cutting people off. It's a fact. Reviews matter to your home service business, which is why there's Podium. Podium makes it so easy to get reviews. That's why over 100,000 leading home service providers and retailers trust Podium to power over millions of customer interactions every month. Check them out and special savings just for Potty Talk listeners. 
Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash podium and take control of your online reputation today. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. so, so you, don't, you got, do that. don't do that. Okay. <laughs> all right. People will judge you. Yes. All right. So, so marketing, gotta, it, it, every, everything is marketing. Everything right. you do is marketing. You have to look at how you answer the phone is marketing um, or don't answer the phone. Right. If it's always going to voicemail or whatever, right. that's marketing as well. So you got to think of any interaction that you have with the, with your community that that's marketing. Everything yes. is marketing. Like reviews as well. I mean, Re- review, Re- reviews are marketing. Great example that we don't think of. Mm-hmm. All right. It, that's exactly what's happening. Not just the customers that are leaving reviews of their marketing, but your response to the customer is marketing. That So everyone always panics about you getting a bad review. Right. You're going to get a bad review mm-hmm. because two to 5% of the customers out there mm-hmm. are from hell. Okay. <laughs> two to five, I'd say. They're, they're, higher okay. Than they're that. demons. <laughs> all right. Looking, especially in today's society. Maybe put okay. a comment, right, right? If you're watching YouTube or whatever, put a comment. If you've had those demon customers, it's like, man, there, there is just no, um, there's no satisfying them. You, you can't talk rationally with them. So if you've been in business for any length of time, you've had some of those. And especially as you're growing, you get more, it's oh, just yeah, a numbers just, thing, just game, numbers. you know, so it's just, mm-hmm. it's going to happen. But the thing is not to panic that this one, you know, wrote a, you know, a small novelette on how much you <laughs> suck and that you, you know, stole from them and burnt their house down and all these other lies. Killed their dog. And killed, yeah, right, killed their dog, <laughs> you know, and then gave you a one star review. And it's like, oh, there goes my per whatever. Yeah. It does it. It's on how, what you're mark at that point, you're marketing to the others who read. Correct. Re- have read that review. Your right. marketing, your response is marketing. Right. You got to think about too, yeah. what I'm, everybody here uses reviews. I mean, it, it's just a thing, right, right? on Amazon or whatever. Um, it's, it's, I, at least I think most people pay more attention to how did the owner respond to, to this person, right? Okay. So someone, you know, put out a bad review or whatever. Okay. Read that. And okay. Well, should now should I buyer beware? Should I be a little worried? Let's look at how the owner responded. If the owner came back and was like, oh yeah, well I did. You know, you said this and, and you, you did s- sign off and, and you, you did s- that, yeah, right. arguing and all right. the things you've lost, you've, right. you've just lost. Right. So res- you have to be able to respond positively to even a negative review. Cause again, you're not responding to the person who left the review cause you're not going to make that crazy person happy. It ain't right. happening. You're responding for all the other customers that's going to read it. So what, what would be, this is a good point. This kind of, you know, this is off topic a little bit, but let's oh. finish it because they're thinking, what's a good response? Mm. You know? Um, something to the effect, um, uh, Mrs. Jones, we're, we're sorry that we did not exceed your expectations in the work that we performed. It looks like Joe did come out um, on time as promised, um, that he did offer you three different options and you chose this. And we're, we're, we uh, we hate that you weren't um, overwhelmed or with, with our service. Um, and I'm trying to think how in, to end it up. Um, and please give us another no, try in the future. We, we'd love to re-earn your business. Something to that effect. Right. Very generic, right? Very, very generic. Right. You, but if you put a couple of the points of um, that of things you did, like if she says, and you know, he was only here 15 minutes or that's, that's always, he's been charged me a million dollars an hour. Um, those are always good ones. Um, so you want to put some things in there, but not in an argumentative right. tone. It's these are the facts. And we, we just hate that we didn't um, wow you with our service. Please give us another try in the another. future. Something like that. You leave it at that and you don't sound like this raven lunatic back because there's also a scripture that says you can't argue well, you don't, can't argue with a fool. Can't argue and if you do, fool. you wind up sounding like a fool. Right. I mean, that, this is just life. Two plus two equals four. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So you argue with a fool, try to defend. You sound like a fool sound too. Like a you fool. pull in. But in this case, what happens is what, and this is what cust- customers will be, even they give you in that, you know, you killed their dog, everything. You charged a million dollars. We're here 15 minutes and you killed the dog. All right. And when they, when people read that and then you come out of, you know, well, we offered this and well, I'm sorry we didn't exceed your expectations. Please give us another opportunity to serve you again, which you may have put them on a do not serve oh, list. Yeah, don't serve. You, know, you don't have to yeah. say that, <laughs> yeah. but it's again, we're DNS, marketing do to, not okay. Serve. So when the customers read that customer and then they read you, it, look, people live in the real world too. So they know people, you know, silly people out there. Okay. Oh, well, Hey, they got a bad customer here. That's exactly what people are going to think. Okay. Yep. Yes, right. so it's in how you so, respond. So anyway, yeah, everything every, is marketing. Everything is marketing. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Number three. All right. Be where customers search. Mm-hmm. Be, have your marketing be mm-hmm. where customers search. Yep. Okay. Yep. Phone. Oh. Period. Okay. On the phone. Pick this up. Mm-hmm. Google. Mm-hmm. Plumbers near me. 
And gotta be there. That's what everybody does. Plumbers near me. So you gotta be there. You gotta be on Google local service ads. You've got to be on Google lo- local service ads. That's the Google guaranteed check mark. And then you also have to be on Google My Business or GMB, Google My Business. That's also called the Maps. If you don't know, do some research on it. Just pull up what is Google My Business. And that's free. That's the best listing to be on. By far, that's the best listing, not only because it's free, but you can totally control that. Um, there's a GMB um, um, portal that you can go in. You can add pictures. You can add posts, all kinds of stuff to keep your your um, your your um, listing fresh and refreshed. And your um, marketing? So what kind of pictures do you? Oh, okay, yeah. On marketing. I, I can't help it. <laughs> so when marketing. you do load pictures, guys, don't – we probably – I know we beat this horse a few times, but don't put on pictures of what you pulled out of someone's drain, some big, gross-looking hairball something, right? Yeah. Don't put pictures of Equipment. digging up someone's yard, right? Right? Because you, if you put pictures of digging up someone's yard, all Mrs. Jones is going to think, oh, man, that's what my yard's going to look like. I don't want my yard to look like that. You, you don't do that. You sell. It's all in the after. It's all in the after. You put, you're putting pictures of your truck with, with great branding. You're put, putting pictures of your smiling technicians. Um, you're putting pictures of a truck parked in, in front of Another. Mrs. Jones' house. Those types of things, right? Um, and, yeah, it, um, putting pictures of, like, um, some beautiful um, tankless water heater, all nice, all the nice Ooh. lines and everything. Um, means nothing. Means, means nothing at all. It doesn't. So right. they want to know, what's this What's this company? When they show up to my house, how am I going to be treated? What's it going to look like? Because it's all about them. Right on. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yes. So be so, be where customers search. Yes. Got to be, gotta be there. GMB. And it's never been easier or more affordable. Yes. Okay. And, and where you can just, you can constantly update and make changes. As a little guy. Constantly. You can compete with the big guys. Mm-hmm. No problem. Yep. So... All right. Be your customer search. Okay. All right. Hey, right now, for you being right with us here, <laughs> so okay, what's your find a transition like? myself. <laughs> <laughs> for being here, hey, I have something for you. Check it out. <laughs> hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my Roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back here. We're talking about uh, five ways to market your business. Absolutely. How are you going to home market your home business. service business? Yes. So um, again, if you're, if you're watching on YouTube, give us give us a thumbs up and also hit the notification button so you do get notified when new episodes drop, um, which is weekly, um, even though the, in the last couple of weeks we did a little hiatus, but um, you'll get notified when, um, when we um, drop a new episode. And also leave a comment. Just let us know how you like the program. I um, would, would love Always love to hear feedback. And if you're listening to one of the podcast platforms, um, give us a review there as well. Tell us Appreciate how much it. you just love us. Just right. Help love, us share love, the love. love, the million dollar Share the plumber. love. So anyway. Okay. All right. So we talked about marketing drives your business, yeah. right? We've talked about everything is marketing. Everything you do is marketing. And then also make sure you are where the customers search. All right. So next. Mm-hmm. All right. The fourth item here. Be where customers scroll. <laughs> not funny okay. how that word now is, is a word. Is a word. I, very, I, not that it wasn't a word, but it's everybody knows now scroll. I mean, before scroll was like. I, I don't know what. Yeah, it was we didn't thing. scroll. I mean, we did. Right. You open the scrolls. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Back in our day. Yeah. You open, the day, the scroll, open the scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how did we get scrolling? No. I don't know. Anyway, just that was a weird one. Hey, be where customers scroll. So mm-hmm. a great example is like Facebook. Okay, so have have your company or Instagram or, or Instagram or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, have have a company page. Mm-hmm. You know, in in those areas. And again, you're not selling. Okay, customers buy from those they know, like, like, and then trust. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so you want to 
get them to know you and to like you. Mm-hmm. And that's what, you know, by being where they're scrolling and, and through. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in those areas, you're, you're just, you're, you're behaving like the, the town cheerleader mm-hmm. is, is one of the things you can do. That's what, that's what, you know, mm-hmm. always, always worked really well. Mm-hmm. It's like, Hey, Hey, I'm here at the Walmart and the firemen are right here at the Walmart and they're gathering toys for tots. <laughs> hey chief, tell us a little bit about I me. Mean, you can do lives that, you know, yeah, you take a picture or whatever, yeah, right. or take a picture, um, you know, with your truck out front of a local establishment, try to do local as far right. as, as opposed to, you know, some of the bigger franchises, but, um, and just, you're posting pictures about that or, you know, post things about something that's going on in the community, you know, an upcoming, um, event, a parade, a, a some sort of drive or, or whatever it might be, post those kinds of things. You're, now in between all of those different posts, of course, you're po- posting things about your business or, um, you can post things about your employees, right. you know, um, highlight a technician and you know what, this is Joe, Joe, or don't ever use last names. This is Joe. He's been with us for, for three years and loves, um, loves hunting, fishing, and, and whatever, and loves serving the, the Attaboy customers, something right. like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And you can have, you know, do it yourself, help, you know, yeah, DIY um, stuff, yeah. you know, for, for your customers. Mm-hmm. Just, and again, you're not selling or you're, you're getting, because you know, those are social environments, mm-hmm. okay? Not necessarily looking to, looking to be sold, right? Okay. You're just getting them to know you, mm-hmm. okay? Yep. And so you need to be where your customers scroll. Mm-hmm. I mean, very important in today's. Yeah. And, and quite frankly, again, that's why it's made it so, it's so much more affordable and easy to market, market today, business. okay, mm-hmm. because of these things, right. all right? That's not, a, there's not an expense there. It's mm-hmm. just a, it's just a time, you know, some time and some focus. Right. Yeah. Back in our day too, we talked about yellow pages, but also TV. I mean, TV yeah. was TV advertising. Was that, only- that's really how we grew our business was TV advertising. And that is so expensive. And then also what happens too on with TV advertising, um, you're, if you're, you know, do it on a, a local market, right. right. You're, you're hitting a lot of people that you may not serve. You don't even serve. Right. right. It's like when we, we had our business in Indianapolis and they would go, you know, hundred that TV stations would go a hundred miles out in places we didn't even serve. Right. So we're getting calls and spending 30 grand a month Yep. Mm-hmm. on advertising. You know how many toilets you got to fix? Yeah. Uh, we know a lot. And yeah, uh, we, for, for gosh, a year or so we were the lead in um, commercial to Oprah. Um, and so that, that's one thing that helped, but man, it, it cost a pretty we, we pay. penny, pretty okay. penny. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you pay for that. So, yes. So today it's so much more affordable and easier. Mm-hmm. All right. So there isn't, uh, there, you have no excuse. Yep. Okay. You just, and you can change things on a dime right. too. Unlike with our TV commercials, man, once, the, once those were in the can, those, those are the ones that are there, right? Right. Or you, you know, spending way more money to, to shoot another one or again with yellow pages, right? But with you guys, you know, if you've got GMB and LSAs and all that um, and, and on social, you can go in and make changes every day. You can add new pictures. You can add new um, put a recipe out or, you know, a joke of the day or whatever it might right. be. You can constantly be updating your own social profile. And again, it's, it's, it's all branded out and your stuff. And when, when you're, if your yes. picture of you, you got your stuff on, it's clean. It's clean. And so, you know, they, they know who you're plumbing. Okay. It's that, that's a, it's a plumbing guy. Right. All right. It's the plumbing guy. Yep. All right. Smile. And so when they do need, which they're not, you know, wakes mm-hmm. up in the morning, wants to call the plumber, mm-hmm. they're going to go here. All right. So, you know, be where they search. Yep. So if you're here, all right, and then that pops, oh, it's that plumbing guy. Mm-hmm. I know him. I like him. I trust him. <laughs> I'm calling. because they've seen, seen you in, in lots of different so Talking places. to it, right, mm-hmm. all right? So yep. do it, all right? Okay. Be where your customers scroll. Mm-hmm. And then finally, number five, be where customers live. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we mean by that? I have no idea. What do you mean? Well, it's be in the community. <laughs> so that's where they're like, you know, um, supporting a Little League team. Mm, okay, have, that's having your so good. that kind of stuff. It, it's not an immediate. That is kind of is that that one's kind of hard because there's just not can't measure it right. The it's, return right, mm-hmm. um, and there's right. You really can't measure it, and um, you know there's, there's no sense of really immediate return on the investment. They mm-hmm. don't say I you know I saw you know on the little league you know mm-hmm. on the fence mm-hmm. you know with your banner right. um, or in the program or you know, anything like that, but it's, it's all vital. It's all part of it. Again, customers buy from those they know, like, and trust. Well, you're just building yeah. mind share. You're, you're, you're right. grabbing mind share. Right. The more places you are, the more, um, more mind share, you know, you can get with your customers. It's not a one and done thing. Um, studies show that, 
Um, it takes seven touches, seven different touches for a customer to remember your brand. So you may think, well, I you know, did a couple posts or my trucks are out there or, or whatever. Um, no, it's, it's a consistent thing. And then also to, to remember you, not just, okay, now I know who you are after, you know, seven ish touches, but then after that, how, how, how am I going to remember you? So things like um, doing the little league, um, sponsoring a little league team, all the different ones, soccer, football, you know, baseball, do, do them all. Um, and then obviously, hopefully you've got a great um, brand as well. That helps. That's all important. All this works together. Yes. It's not just one, one thing fit. No nope. works. Yep. You know. And then, um, like Richard said too, um, being out on the fences, right? Get get a banner sponsor, and and the, these little league um, um, teams and and the the communities that organ, organize it or these organizations, they they need sponsors. They need sponsors. So and, and it is not that expensive. You know, it depends obviously on your area. But start doing some research and start doing research now. I mean, right now we're we're in February at the time of this recording. Um, so I don't what's coming up. Baseball, I guess, would probably be the next one. Don't don't wait until baseball. They're, baseball season they're looking now they're looking now for sponsorships um so always be ahead of it let them know hey I, i'm willing to do this you know think outside the box let the, these organizations know hey I'll, I'll sponsor this or i'll do this um just getting your name out there because that's that's grabbing mind share for all those moms and dads that are sitting out in the freezing cold or whatever at some of these games um that's it, it the, the the um, opposing team. So it might be, you know, you sponsor their team, but it's the opposing teams as well. Um, and it, you just become a part of the community that way. And so that's why even like, again, the branding, all this, all this marketing, this matters because um, just having, you know, Joe's plumbing on a, on a t-shirt, a game, that's boring. It doesn't attract Ooh, anything, but we had Attaboy plumbing with our guy, a running guy that looked mm -hmm. cool, you back know, and then, fun yeah. back then, back <laughs> then, right. You know, in it, in on the, you know, on a baseball gave a uniform, personality. it gave a personality. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like you wanted to look at you wanted to look at it. And the name of our business was cool, Attaboy, right, right. and that really went with sports too, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. so all so all these things matter, mm -hmm. okay? But you want to be be out where where the customers live. Mm -hmm. I mean, even to the point, you know, some we've uh, we've had some of our our clients do buses, right? You know, mm -hmm. they do a bus starting out, and that bus is seen all over. You know, so they imagine your logo, nice, not just Joe's Plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you got to make, I mean, it has to be, that's why all this is important. Look at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes even your town look better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost a piece of art. Yep. Okay. We had but, one customer that um, sponsored um, a suite at their, their minor league or yeah, I don't know, it's it called minor league. Yeah. It's minor league ball. I mean, it's a uh, baseball, right. Feeder or feeder. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they've had a whole suite and, and they have an amazing brand and they, they put that out. Um, and so that's, and it's a, a kind of a big deal in this relatively smaller town. Um, you know, everybody goes to the baseball, it's a baseball game with their families and whatever. And here's, you know, this suite that's just all branded out for, you know, for their business. And it's seen because the suites are out in the outfield, right. you know, they're just these in the party. So it's all, you can't, cut, miss, you, it. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Right. And they sponsor different events too, um, throughout the, the summer as well. So doing things like that and guys, just not, those things are not that expensive. They right. really aren't that expensive. Okay. Uh, so think outside the box. Think, who pays you, for it? I mean, you learn in the academy <laughs> here as we talk, you know, who Customers pays for it? Customers pay for it. Customer pays for yes. everything. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Five, okay. five ways to market. All right. To your business. Yes. Do it. Okay. Hey, and if you, if you want to learn more about, about these techniques, okay. And the systems that you need in place, um, not only just with marketing, um, but with everything, all right, with your, your home service business, all right, then you need to check out the Success Academy, all right? Um, MDP Success Academy is made up of 12 modules covering everything from marketing to the right kind of pricing, how to, how to attract, hire, and fire, fire. <laughs> the te technicians <laughs> to, the, to the branding, to even, you know, even the boring stuff. To me, it was boring, the accounting and all that, but you got to know some numbers. You got to know that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And all, you know, the PDFs, calculators, all are included um, in the Academy. There's over 150 video classes, mm -hmm. over 150. I mean, okay, everything you need to know is there. You got coaching, all right, and community. It's all there for you. Whatever level, you know, commitment level you decide, okay? Um, you know, if you're ready to, to take, uh, to really grow, all right, and take your business to the next level, check it out. You can go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success to do so. Yep. Okay. Hey. That's good. Hey, good having everybody here. Mm -hmm. All right. Good to have you here. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.